So I'm currently at the train station waiting for my next train which will be arriving in about 15 minutes. I missed my earlier train because there were some issues with Scoot. I couldn't seem to book a baggage. Yeah, and it caused huge delays. So hopefully I'm able to catch this next train um, which will arrive at the airport at 12.30 just in time for the check-in of my flight. Yeah, because uh, I have to check in by 1pm and this is the latest train that I can take. So yeah, let's hope I can make it on time. back in Singapore. I kind of KO'd last night because I was so tired after the flight and this morning I had to go over to the airport again to pick my mom up from her trip um, in Norway. Right now I'm about to head out to the shopping mall in town. I'm gonna catch a movie, the Taylor Swift concert movie and see how it goes. introduction about myself. I'm Amanda and I'm originally from Singapore. I'm an international student studying medical school in Australia and it's currently the end of my third year so I'm awaiting my results and hopefully I'll be able to progress to year four which I'm really hoping towards because it's been a long journey in medical school. Yeah due to COVID and so many things that, that's happened. It seems like things has been getting delayed again and again. And because of COVID, I had to, not just me, but the entire batch of international students from my year had to be deferred because we couldn't get into Australia the other time um, due to the border restrictions. And so yeah, we actually kind of wasted one year. I mean, technically I worked in a GP clinic and learned some skills and as well as how a clinic actually works and had some you know amazing patient interactions but then again it's still kind of a waste of time because I'm no longer young anymore and I just wanted to quickly graduate and start working. Yeah, I actually did a mid-career switch when I was at age 25 and previously I actually graduated from accountancy before going into the educational industry to teach as a teacher for about four and a half years and then I tried applying to medical school. I tried really really hard to get into medicine and yeah that's what I did. Um, overall I'm still really grateful that I managed to get into medicine but this process is just so long and it's been so many years. Uh, if I were to count it, it would be about one year of foundation three years of medical school that's four years already and the application process and everything took about one year as well so it's been five years so it's been five years since i wanted to change career to medicine and now i'm at the end of my year three and i can't wait for this to end like i just really want to graduate and start working and provide for my family give them a better more comfortable life yeah i I can't wait for this to end. So yeah, let's just hope that I actually ace my exams and progress on to the next year. So to be very honest, I didn't actually do well for my very first semester in year three because that was not what I was expecting. Um, and I, I would say it's also partially because I was trying to transition from theory to clinical based and it's just so tiring going to hospitals and then coming back and then still having to study after a long day of work. Yeah, but 
and when I got back my results for my first semester, I got a big shock because I have never actually not done pretty. I would. I'm not an A student. Like I would say above average, but at least I expect to you know like pass comfortably. And the results that I got in the first semester wasn't what I was expecting. So in the second semester, I really had to buck up because it was my surgical rotation. So. Basically, yeah, everyone is just afraid of surgery. Uh, I think it's because there's like so much things to learn. And because the clinical skills exams for surgery is actually kind of difficult. There's something called VIVAS where we are given 365 questions. Um, not questions, but like questions which has sub-questions below it. And we have to find the information on that. And in, during exam time, which I described, I think, early on, so what happened is that we are given five minutes um, of examination time where a question stem will be given and we will have to read the questions out loud as well as answer the questions at the same time. So throughout that five minutes, we have to really just, just split out all our answers really quickly Basically, we have no time to think about our answers. We have to be so sure about them in our head. And yeah, it's just the exam that everyone is just so scared about <laughs> surgical fibers. It's just a nightmare. So yeah, I've been really stressed for the past, I would say the entire year. Because firstly, I didn't do well in the first semester. And secondly, my second semester is, is on surgery. And also, I happen to have uh, my time for my timetable because everyone is different but for mine my surgery rotation in the hospital was being allocated to the last month right before my exams so that made things even worse and I was so stressed because if I have to go to the hospital at, like from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or sometimes even 8 p.m. and by the time I drive home it's about one hour drive I would be so exhausted and I wouldn't have time to even memorize like at least a few questions of my vivas or do any practice questions or just revise uh, revise on whatever that I've I've been taught or whatever that I've learned throughout the semester. It just makes things so hard. Yeah, so I've been so stressed but I am so relieved that I think I scored pretty well. I would say I would de definitely pass pretty well for my vivas. Yeah, um, I actually thought like I bombed the first question because it came the question that came out was something that came out from the last semester, and I thought they wouldn't repeat the question because given that there's three hundred and sixty five questions, like why would you pick the same question, right? But turns out I think they picked that question, um, which was about a perforated peptic ulcer. Maybe they picked that because it's like one of the easier questions, I would say. Because it's more basic, I guess. But honestly, I didn't actually study that question because I didn't expect it to come out. Like, I studied the whole... I studied about 350 questions and I left some out. I left about 15 out. And that was one of the questions which I actually left out. And so during the first... Um, my first station for that exam, I was like, oh my god. I'm, <laughs> I was so disappointed because I didn't study that and it actually came out. But luckily, the other three stations, I did really well because um, those questions were really, really hard and most students couldn't really answer them properly. But for me, I don't know, maybe I just really like surgery a lot and I could actually answer and give the diagnosis even before the question actually asked for the diagnosis and the surgeons were like nodding their head and saying excellent throughout the entire exam so I'm feeling pretty confident that I'll pass the exams yeah and now I'm just waiting for um, my results to be out and I'm so nervous because I hope I do well um, I, w I wouldn't want to fly back during my holidays just to take a receipt of an exam like that's not what I want because I really tried my very best and studied really hard so I hope that I'll be able to pass with flying colors maybe and yeah just enjoy this break because I only have one month of break before year four starts and there is no holidays during year four and it is a really really tough year for my school 
um, with all the research coming in and there's just so much materials to learn as well as clinical placements I heard like we have to go for go to the hospital every day as well as learn things um, ourselves and at the same time juggle with research so yeah it, it's gonna be a tough year and I just want to really take this one month to relax and just make up some of my sleep debts because I didn't really sleep well for the past one year. Let's hope, fingers crossed, that I'll do well. If you enjoyed the vlog and you'd like to follow me on my journey in medical school and learn more about my life, please press the subscribe button and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!